Okay, let's get Mirny out and do the anti fouling. This is Blue Roger. Hey, hi, hi. Going to help me. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> this is very good. At one time. <laughs> Boom. It's so good. <laughs> Taking the boat out of the water makes me always nervous. Doesn't matter how smooth or it goes, it is always scary seeing your house fully depending on a machine. So here I am with Mirny, um, we have taken the boat out today and we are planning to maybe stay here like three or four days, depends how quick we go. Hopefully the weather is good and then we will be fast. And Mirny after will be fast. I hope, I wish. The truth is that the people from the Pancor Marina were very professional and reliable, giving me confidence in the whole process. Dante fouling is the process of painting the bottom of your boat with a special product that avoids the growth of barnacles in the hull. So apparently the keel is not as good as we thought and probably we have to grind it down into the epoxy until the epoxy and that takes time and that takes well time is money and yeah unfortunately there's no other way to go really. I thought it was going to be like two days out of the water Primer, anti-fouling, see you later, but no. Well, the problem with this hull, I think the preparation, I can see the uh, grey colour, which is the primer there, is an uh, epoxy primer, still in a good condition. But the thing is, the uh, anti fouling it's not born properly. My suggestion, wherever we cut through the metal, we apply the metal primer, then yeah. primer con. Primer con? The whole thing, apply a coat of a primer con is better. Then we go with the uh, micron. To do a perfect job, the plan was to send the three-quarter parts of the hull back to the epoxy, then follow the right steps before applying the anti-foul. It took a full five days for two people to send it back to the epoxy, eliminating any anti-fold that was not applied correctly in the past, and two more full days to paint it. Just broke the head. That's why it's a good idea to buy quality products. Yep, there you go. The boat it's a workshop, bloody hell. Stopping in marinas is dangerous because you keep working and working and working and things and boat there is always something to do. So that's how we are now, replacing a window, opening the fuel tank into jerry cans with this pump the mechanic has gave me, which is connected into the battery. Uh, calibrating the gauge. I think I should go sailing. 
So we are gonna try to install a fuel filter. Very cool stuff. This. Okay. We decided to put it here, and for that we need to put this a bit higher. So let's install this. And this is another job done. Being here right now at 7 p.m. at the end of the day in a boat yard, uh, working on the boat. It feels amazing. Yeah. Must be a reason why we do it. That's it, job is done and we are going back in the water. It's been a very productive two weeks here in Pankor Marina and now we are ready to keep sailing up north to Thailand. And this is the Sail Malaysia Rally Dinner! James and his team were a fantastic help and the right persons to get in touch if you are in the area and need pretty much anything. So this is my team, if you need any help, don't be shy to ask them. Thank you for watching y gracias por suscribiros al canal Todos Esos de la Taberna del Puerto. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet and have a look at our Patreon page to the opportunity of coming on board to sail with us. There is a story to be told um, and a very, very good story. So, Malaka, 1.30 in the morning. Three meter waves are coming up. I'm fast asleep and all of a sudden I hear coming through the porthole it's Max's voice going Santana, Santana, you're dragging and I'm fast asleep and I just get out of bed and I'm thinking is this a dream? and I look through the porthole and there's Max and I said are you sure I'm dragging? and he says to me you've just gone past two boats and you're about to hit the third so I quickly jump out of bed, I start the motor, and I just start going forward. The next thing I know, Max has jumped on board. It's 1.30 in the morning, and it's terrible weather conditions. And uh, I said to Max, Max, how did you know? And he said, I was watching. <laughs> It reminded me of Bruce Wayne so much. He's watching. So he tells me to go up the front, he gets behind the helm. About a half an hour, we've uh, got the boat re-anchored. Oh, and by the time I, I was naked at this stage, I said, Max, I'm sorry I'm naked. And he says, I didn't expect you to dress up for me. <laughs> And then just before he leaves, he says, Sean, I've got to go. I've got to see how my, my boat's going, and I think there's another one in trouble. <laughs> and that's why I feel like saying, Max, how will I ever get hold of you again? And it was one of those moments when he could have just sworn Max would have said, just look around, I'll be there. <laughs> and then, strangely, just before he left, 
Yeah, he goes, oh, by the way, I've uh, calibrated the stress uh, stress loads on your bottom spreader from that accident you had, and you're good to go with your mainsail. It's like, thank you very much for that as well, Max. As a so, as a result, we ended up Max, the superhero of the Indonesia Malaysia Rally. <laughs>